get your green thumbs ready. We're about to learn a few easy ways to implement good gardening practices. Lynn Brammer is a master gardener. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. We've got a table full of things to get to today. First, let's talk about how you can reuse some of that rainwater from your roof to water your plants. That's this, right? It is. So it how does is. that work? This is a very miniature version of it, obviously. The actual barrel is a 55 gallon pickle barrel is okay. what we use and we modify it. Uh, what it does, it collects the uh, rooftop rainwater that comes off your gutter. So you attach this to your downspout, cut your downspout off and attach it here. And then down here is where you're gonna attach your garden hose uh, in okay. this spot right here. So uh, we give uh, demonstrations of this. So many of our master gardeners have these and one of our master gardeners made this miniature version so we could uh, Show it that off. is awesome. It is miniature. How big is the is the real version? Fifty five gallons. Okay, so fifty five gallons. Do, you could wash your car. And if you want, I mean, you could probably decorate it so it's not just like a sore thumb. That's so, I mean, you could make it nice in your garden too. Uh, use your artistic flair. Yeah, so many of them are painted beautiful, vibrant color, colors with flowers or ferns or whatever is your thing. But and the yeah. reason why you'd want to do that is just make oh. use of what we have, right? We have statistics on how much rainwater comes off your roof and it's just almost sinful to not collect it if you're a gardener. Because awesome. right here is free water. Right. You don't have to deplete your wells or your your town system, whatever you have. Of course, you don't want pests in your garden, so yeah. snakes, squirrels, this contraption here. Tell us about that. This is genius. Uh, one of our friends developed this. It's basically a wood stove flashing, and she has modified it, rounded it out, put a guard on one end, some tin snips. You fold that in, and it attaches to the pole where you have your bird feeders or your birdhouses. Awesome. So consequently, squirrels, snakes, any kind of varmints that would typically climb your uh, pole and get into the eggs or the nest yes, or the bird feeder. Keep them out. This is gonna protect it. So <laughs> it's just a wonderful yes. thing that one of our friends has modified and it's gonna be uh, demonstrated. Perfect, and then this is pretty self-explanatory. This yes. is for people, if you don't have a garden, it's an herb garden, right? So you can keep it inside. We wanted to show folks that even if you live in an apartment complex, you can still have a garden. You can, and what, can have a tomato plant. What's in there? Oh, we have some basil, we have some thyme, we have some oregano, and all you do is snip, snip when you're getting ready to cook up that meal or that bruschetta, and suddenly you've got some fresh oh. herbs at your at your nice. ready. Nice, and we wanna let everybody know that you can see all of these things, actual live demonstrations mm -hmm. of them and how to do them at an upcoming New River Valley Garden Tour, and we have the info on the screen. Saturday, July 6th from nine to five, tickets are $12 in advance, $15 the day of. Mm -hmm. Why should people come to that? Oh my goodness, we have seven amazing gardens where uh, we also have artists in the gardens. We have mus musicians playing music. We have master gardeners there to uh, answer questions. So it's just gonna be a day filled. Perfect. With wonderful, wonderful information. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. We really appreciate it. And